Hello, I am Linda, and today I'm going to introduce to you the Gentranix MC160 Multi-Needle Electrology Machine. Stay tuned for more from the Lax Aesthetic Learning. The Gentranix MC160 is an excellent machine that performs many functions and electrologists can use on clients. Many of the concepts we discuss here can be applied to other devices. So let's go through them. The multiple needle control settings are located in the upper left corner. Here we have the timer setting in minutes, which sets the duration the probe delivers energy to the hair follicle. The time ranges from one to 15 minutes. It is used in concert with the energy level. The longer the minutes, the lower the level settings. The delay prevents unintended discomfort for the client. For example, the beginning electrologist when learning probe insertion. Level controls the amount of energy delivered to the probe. The multiple needle indicator shows the number of microamps delivered. The higher the setting, the more heat your client will feel. You want to set this to a tolerable level for your client. The higher you set the level, the lower you usually have to set the timer. These lights are an indication of an electrical connection. The green insertion lights illuminate when the probe is inserted into the hair follicle. It turns off when the probe is removed. The red galvanic lights illuminate when an energized probe is inserted into the hair follicle. These lights turn off according to the timer setting and indicate a completed treatment. Power light illuminates when the machine is turned on at the back panel. Bunch port is the connection point for the positive electrode that the client holds. This switch toggles between the probe and the roller. Appellate sets the machine to deliver galvanic current. This setting creates the chemical reaction at the negative probe that produces the lye or sodium hydroxide that destroys the hair follicle. Cataphoresis activates the ruler and is used after an electrolysis treatment. When used with a conductive gel, the ruler helps soothe the skin from the discomfort of the electrolysis process. This area interfaces with the probe and the air hose. The blend setting is a treatment that uses electrolysis and thermolysis, while flash uses thermolysis only to destroy the hair follicle. The air switch controls the pump. The pump drives air through the probe to help soothe the skin during treatment. Looking closely, you can see the port from which the air flows. This switch applies only when pedals are connected to the back of the machine. The two pedal setting enables you to control the electrolysis and the thermolysis energy separately. The single pedal controls both electrolysis and thermolysis together. When the pedal is pressed, the probe is energized with electrolysis and thermolysis energy and stops when released. Auto start energizes the probe on contact with the skin or follicle. When toggled down, there is a delay based on your start delay settings in the electrolysis and thermolysis controls. Horn controls the audible tone when treatment is complete. Duration is based on timer settings. This section controls your electrolysis treatment, which are galvanic or direct current settings that destroy the hair follicle with a chemical reaction. The red light illuminates when the energized probe touches the skin and turns off when the probe is removed or when the timer expires. The level adjustment sets the amount of current in milliamps delivered to the probe and is indicated on the meter. This timer adjustment sets the seconds the probe delivers energy to the hair follicle. The duration ranges from an instant to 20 seconds and used in concert with the level of energy set. The start delay adjustment is the same concept as the multiple needle where you may want a delay from when the probe touches the skin until the probe is energized. 
This has an adjustment from 1 to 7 seconds. The roller connector is for the steel roller attachment and is energized when the cataphoresis switch is active. This section controls your thermolysis treatments. Thermolysis destroys the hair follicle with a high frequency which produces heat. The yellow light illuminates when the energized probe touches the skin and turns off when the probe is removed or the timer expires. The level adjustment sets the amount of current in milliamps delivered to the probe and is indicated on the meter. Notice that this meter scale is much smaller than the electrolysis scale. This timer adjustment operates the same as electrolysis. The start delay adjustment is the same concept as the multiple needle, where you may want a delay from when the probe touches the skin until the probe is energized. When pulsar is on, the energy pulses on, off, on, off, instead of a steady, continuous flow of energy. Pulsing can cause discomfort in some clients. When toggled to set, the two meters are a visual indicator for the energy set by your level adjustments. When toggled to monitor, the two meters act as a visual indicator that shows the amount of energy delivered to the probe. For example, when using the blend method, electrolysis could be set to 6 seconds and thermolysis set to 2 seconds. Then, when the treatment starts, the meters show the energy level delivered to the probe. At 2 seconds, the thermolysis meter drops to 0. Electrolysis would remain at the level set and decrease to 0 at 6 seconds. On the back of the machine, you will find the power cord adapter, power switch, fuses, 25-pin ribbon cable connector for the multiple needle adapter, and two connectors for the pedals.